everyone and welcome to the, uh, okay, that was a dry run. I forgot what channel we were on. <laughs> All right, take two. And welcome to the Jabby Koi channel. I'm Achara Kirk and this is Leah Mariella. Hi, hi guys. She has a blog. She, you're a fashionista, aren't you? Yes, I yeah. am. And traveler. She walked in today and I was like, oh my god, those trousers are amazing. So you should definitely check out her blog and her Instagram if you are into that kind of thing or if you just like awesome travel yes, pictures. Both pictures. Fashion, mostly fashion. So we're gonna check out TVF's Cubicles. I guess it's their new show and it's releasing on the 10th, so really, really soon. According to a report made in 2019, India's IT sector, mein over 15 million people are employed. Damn, that's a lot. My opinion is that in 7 million ki life, there will be a friendly boss. Hogi. I like mysteries. So why don't we keep the secret of your late arrival a mystery and focus on work? Meri hi taraf 5 million ki life mein kuch cooperative teammates honge. Aap log kya dilly dally kar rahe ho yaar? Ek bhi decide karo na kahan jana hai. Main ghar ja raha hu. Meri tarah hi 3 million ki life mein ek responsible roommate hoga. Koi kisi ko bigadta bigadta nahi hai. Usme pyaas thi, maine bas glass aa gaya bhai. And meri tarah hi kam se kam 1 million ke paas ek uh Let's just say well wisher to ho gayi. Uh, what's the password? I hope you die underscore one two three. In short, agar sir statistics dekhe. Arey kab aayi yaar salary? Tu wait karna ban kar dega tab. So there's nothing unique about my life. I'll take that as a compliment. It's the same. Okay. Way. Nine to five, daily routine, sitting in a cubicle. Par pata nahi kyun? Ye cubicles bade badnaam hai. I'm competent, sir. Idiot, get off. I don't like your team. What are you getting for us? Do you understand what you're doing? I have serious doubts to miss company. I don't think I belong here. Oh, wow. This is the problem in cubicles. All cubicles are like this. Simple, square, almost indistinguishable. Piyush Prajapati, junior developer. That's why we forget that we all do these cubicles in the box shape cubicles. But every person's story is different. Oh. That's your CTC. CTC? Cost yeah. to company. CTC. And this? This is your in hand. Oh. Whoa. Wow. I feel like you might be able to relate to this even more I than me right now. I was just say, it reminds me so much of my job. I didn't mention it, but I am a full-time finance manager. Right. The blog is kind of like my side. It's always been my side hustle. Right. Um, but I also do it because I love it. But yes, this is, this is a lot like my life when I first moved to LA. How long um, ago was that? Five years. Okay. Five years ago. All right. Yeah. So it's been a it's been a while. Um, I've moved up from cubicles, but so you have um, an office now. I do have an office. Okay, that's yes, cool. I do have an office. <laughs> yes, it reminds me a lot of my old stumping grounds. It's been a long time since I've actually worked in an office environment like that. But like straight out of college, I did work at like a finance company. It was like a. Uh, wealth management company okay. for a little while. It kind of did have that feeling, but my office was a little bit more open plan, but there have been times where I've gone and visited other people's offices and they have these little cubicles and stuff. I always like how they individualize their little cubicles, you know, yeah, you like- you put your own photos yeah. and your family memorabilia. And my dad actually also worked in a cubicle for a long time. Yeah. A long, long time back in Puerto Rico. It becomes your world, right? It is, you spend more time there than your own home. What Nidhi, the, the woman who is playing the boss, what she said about, you know, like all of these cubicles look the same, but everyone has, has a, different a different story. story. Yeah. And it's so true. I really appreciate that they, they do things like this. It's like they take something that's very 
ordinary or like that that a lot of people can relate to because if the statistics are true and it's like 15 million people are employed in IT jobs like this there's like 15 million people presumably who can relate to this mm -hmm. hopefully I can relate I was pretty taken by surprise but I did not expect that coming and I immediately was like whoa this was kind of like my life a couple of years back yeah uh, like did you have rivalries and stuff like um, for me, it was more like I was very young and there were people that were older than me, so they always, you know, kind of yeah. like, look at you, like, do you know what you're doing? Or they just compare themselves to you. Mm -hmm. um, so you, it's not necessarily rivalry, but it was a little uncomfortable at times. You get that sense of him going through that in the story as well. He's just trying to fit in. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's like his first job out of school. and. Oh man, I felt so bad for him at the end when he's all like, oh, I thought that I was getting paid this much. And then it's like, well, yeah, that's that's the cost of the company, but this is what you're oh. actually taking home. And it's like, damn, you know, you, you work so hard to get a job. Like it's such a struggle to even get an interview, to get offered that job and mm -hmm. to take it in the first place. And then you find out that oh, actually, you're not gonna be making as much money as you thought you were, and like, you spend all your time in that office, in that cubicle, doing that work with a bunch of people who maybe start off not liking you that much, and you have to like, prove yourself to them. Like, it's such yeah. an uphill struggle. Yeah, proving yourself is a big one. And it's funny because when I first started in finance, I remember telling my parents like, well, I'm getting paid tomorrow, let's see what it is. Really, I have no you didn't clue. know mm -hmm. because what? so many, so much of it was based on performance and bonuses and whether or not the team or I don't know, you know how companies are. They give you a pay plan and it's your first job and you're just like, sure, I'll sign wherever. Oh, um, so yeah, every month was different. It was kind of like, let's see what it is this month. How do you so even I, plan? I definitely relate to that. Um, you know, you have to just minimize your spending and your yeah budget 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 but i i feel like this one's one that i would probably cry watching a couple yeah. times more than once i mean i was feeling that emotion as well and like Very that emotional. that sense of isolation mm -hmm. that he has and like i love that shot as well in the trailer where it just showed him repeatedly waking up opening up the curtains. Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, and then like he's just wearing a different outfit and you get that sense of the monotony of the everyday of like, I wake up. And that's one that we same. can all relate yeah. to. Yeah, I'm very glad I don't work in an office anymore. <laughs> but you know, I, I did I did appreciate with the office culture is that sense of like com camaraderie. It's definitely harder at the beginning, mm. the first few months. That's what it really did remind me, the trailer. It's yeah. the first few months doing what I was doing back in the day. Uh, but once you, you know, you, you have a year under your shoulder, then you know, or, <laughs> uh, you know, more than six months and it starts feeling Feeling like a little bit more of a community yeah and you start making friends because you do spend so much time with the people in that office yeah you spend more time with people you work with often than people in your family mm -hmm. people that you live in with so yeah no totally and I remember when I was working in the office at first you know I was like I was so quiet I'm just like keeping my head yeah. down just doing my work you know <laughs> and then me. and then I just remembered that that feeling when finally I got invited to go for a drink after work, like several do you want months. Coffee? Yeah, like, <laughs> oh hey, do you wanna go grab some lunch together? Or like, oh we're we're all going out for a drink after work. It was usually like on a Thursday or a Friday. Everyone would go out and get drunk. At first everyone was just doing that and I'm like, oh I guess I'm just going home then. Mm -hmm. And then that first time that they're like, hey Achara, do you wanna join us? I was like, yes! I made it! I made it! For I me, it was Halloween. Um, I started uh, this new job in August after I graduated, and in Halloween, they asked me to be part of like a little group costume. Oh. And I was like, yeah! Everybody was like 10 years older than me at the time. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. No, I, this is one that for sure I feel like I'm gonna get very emotional um, watching. So, this is coming out real soon, I guess, on uh, TVF Play, so you guys can check it out there. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with us. And please do check out Leah Mariella on her blog, on Instagram, on the interwebs. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, check out our other reactions, movie reviews, interviews, 
and vlogs. I think I've covered everything. <laughs> I'm Achara Kirk and this is Leah Mariella. Ciao! Thank you guys.